Among former President Trump's commutations, former Detroit City Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. After almost eight years behind bars, Kilpatrick is set to be released from a federal corrections facility in Louisiana. CW 50's Chris Walker explains. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick was set to serve 28 years in federal prison for corruption charges, but that sentence was cut by two decades with the strike of President Donald Trump's pen hours before leaving the Oval Office. President Donald Trump states in the executive grant of clemency, Kilpatrick's time served is sufficient and the safety of the community will not be compromised upon his release. For him to have done what he did and show the level of disrespect that he did towards the city, and the, the citizens of the city, I don't believe that he should have been released. I mean, I don't believe that he should have gotten the amount of time that he's gotten. Yeah, I think that he should have did at least 10. Kilpatrick's original discharge date of January 2037 is no longer binding. 28 years is back, you know what I'm saying? I think he shouldn't have got that much. Um, I had met Kwame before, but he seemed like he was a cool dude. He said like he's a, you know, a cool dude. He probably ain't mean no harm to nobody, but I'm happy for him. I hope his family happy. The decision for clemency comes following a push from community leaders and state representatives Karen Whitsett and Sherry Gay Danyogo. As a mom of one son, uh, I am elated uh, for former Congresswoman Carolyn Cheese Kilpatrick. My heart lamented uh, for her throughout these seven, almost eight years. And let's face it, uh, Kwame Kilpatrick was an effective legislator. Uh, brilliant mayor, yes, he broke the law. No one is disputing that, uh, but he has a tone for that. Uh, he's asked for forgiveness for that. Uh, and I believe he has a great um, amount of value still left to be able to contribute wherever he chooses to reside. The former mayor's commutation requires him to pay a $4.7 million restitution bill plus a three-year term of supervised release. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan announced his support on Twitter Wednesday, saying in part, this is a decision President Trump got right. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.